I want to make a custom world map. Only problem is, I don't know how to make a custom world map. But, I think I've come up with a fun solution. I want to use Incarnate. I've only used it a handful of times. Um, don't really know how it works, but well, I guess we'll figure it out. But, 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 I want to try and use real paper and some dice to try and figure out what my place is going to look like with a little sprinkle of um, artist's touch, artist's eyeball. Use my eyeball to really see into the... Oh, I've got this. My big ass uh, mixed media is paper. Okay, so my plan is pretty simple. My first step, you need some dice, doesn't matter what kind, and you need a piece of paper. I got a big piece of paper because why not? I already had it on hand. And my idea, big huge brain idea, is to roll a handful of dice on this sheet of paper. Then we will have a rough layout for what our continents will look like. Hmm? Hmm? It's a pretty big brain. If we use the concept of splashing dice on the page, getting a shape, and then transferring that into Incarnate, I think it should work out. So, how many dice should we use? Uh, let's just fill them out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, probably too many, actually. If we just take, like, that many. Get out of here. So I think if we took all these dice, move them, uh, maybe move some out of the way. Take like majority of them and kind of go move the ones way off the edge. There, like that. And then these went off. Maybe like that. Okay. I think I see some shapes. Where's my pen? My Sharpie? Sharpie, that'll work. So I'm seeing shapes. I see like right over here, looks like an island to me. Then you kind of got this like kind of weird shape going right here like that. Maybe like that could be one continent. And then this top half could be another. And then two islands. And then maybe we'll dot some of these dice over here and see what kind of shapes we can get there. I like this idea. So, uh, generally, uh, like this. Now, I don't think it really matters if I make it look like land yet, because I'll do that in Incarnate. I think if we have generally something like that. And then something like that. And then maybe something like that. Maybe make that a little bit closer to here. Uh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Now let's grab oh, these dice. Throw some dice here. Up there. Uh, like that. Interesting. So I'm seeing another sort of island up here and kind of this long piece down like that. And then maybe in here somewhere. Okay, so I think this one will be kind of close to both of these, but not go out very far. I don't know if this makes sense. Maybe. We'll play with it in Incarnate, but maybe this stays as one piece, or maybe this becomes one whole piece. I don't know. We'll make a couple variations that might make sense. Let's just move that in there, so maybe something like that, and something like uh, that. Okay, I think, I think that'll look pretty cool. Maybe. I, again, I might combine these kind of down here. Let's just clear off these dice. So, there are our, our base map things. Okay, so, 
now that I have my rough sketches for islands, let's put that right there, right behind me. Is that a good idea? That's probably a terrible idea. Okay, now into incarnate. I've just made a quick folder here. Create a new map. And we want fantasy world. Choose style. Now, the question. What? What size do we want? Maybe we'll go 80 by 60. We'll double it. Wow, look at this. We got some water. So, I don't know what this is. That's, uh, oh, oh, this is land. So we're going to go back to add. And this is where our map comes into play add our shapes so i think i'm going to lower the shape a bit um looks like we had kind of a island here oh right roughness what kind of roughness maybe we'll leave it on on eight kind of leave it like that yeah and that is kind of the general shape of what we used with the dice now, looking at this kind of from an artistic point of view, this looks funny to me. This kind of looks a little, a little strange and this kind of cluster looks a little too busy. So if we look at, so if we go to Google and just look up fantasy maps, lots of them, like this one's kind of like really busy with little tiny islands, but you get like big continent, Big continent, big continent, smaller island, kind of smaller island. There's lots of like massive island with not very many kind of islands. And we've got a lot of islands here. So we're just going to go. Okay. So I've just made a copy of this map so we can modify it without losing this original one. So if we just kind of start shaping this into one big island one big huge landmass and maybe we'll take uh the subtract tool and give it a little bit more of a uh, unique kind of shape maybe this kind of like weird hourglass kind of kind of look uh keep that original kind of pointed star look but form it into one bigger island here and i think i want to do the same over over here adding like that is the way to go so then it's less busy there's a lot more places to be there's something wrong over here so maybe what if we went like more jagged over here and ooh, that's kind of cool and what if we made this like real thick down here we made this like a, a short canal like passage and then up like that I'm gonna fill this out like that. Now we've got a big landmass here. And if we take the subtract tool and we really accentuate this kind of inlet, we go here like, like that. Let's go back to the add tool, make it real small. And let's go like, like that. really make this like this like little inlet over here i don't know if this makes sense but i don't know if that really matters in the big picture it might i could be very wrong but that it might not matter in the big picture if this makes sense for the real world because it's not the real world this is uh the, the not real i like that i think this is a really good starting point and it's crazy to think we went from a bunch of scribbles hold on Ah, it went from this using some dice to this which is a what I would consider oops, a much more usable piece of geography for creating the world which I think is really cool and of course if I expanded this out even like 25% and it was mostly sea and I dotted some islands around kind of the edges 
I think that could lead for some really cool locations. Uh, I'm gonna leave this here. I will continue to work on this probably in uh, in video form like this. Who knows, maybe I'll stream it. Do you wanna see me stream it? I'd stream it. That'd be fun. Get some input. Well, I hope you can see that making a world map is not quite as scary as it looks. When you break it down into even just something as arbitrary as rolling dice on a big old piece of paper, it's a lot less intimidating. Incarnate's pretty cool. I don't know how much of this that I'm using is paid. I am subscribed to it. It was like 20 something bucks for the year, so it wasn't that bad. But I think this is a really good starting point. This is far from done, but I think it's a good starting point. I hope you learned something. If you have any suggestions for me or any directions that you think this could go or anything like that, even world names, I'm kind of at a loss for that. I am going to try and find some techniques on that and I'll make a video about that. But if you've got any like suggestions down in the comments below that like button, I'm all ears. Come have a conversation with me. But thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to roll again.